fam, it's Leah here and today I think I've decided to do a daily vlog. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do this all week or just today, but I feel like maybe I should do a vlog. I'm feeling really stuck on my channel and I don't know what to do and I don't know what you guys want to see and I just, I'm just feeling a bit lost and stuck, but that's for another video. So today I'm gonna do a daily vlog because Jake always goes, Lee, you never vlog anymore. So I'm gonna change that today. I'm gonna just show you guys what I do as an unemployed human at the moment. Yay. My days can be pretty boring and they can be pretty eventful as well being like the housewife. So we'll see what today is. But yeah, this might turn into a whole week. If you want it to be, please leave me a comment down below letting me know because if you want it, I'll do it. If you don't, I won't. Let's get it started. So I normally wake up like down here and I'm like, oh, snoozing, oh, it's like 9.30, maybe I should get up. And I normally find this little critter down here. Hello. <laughs> oh, did I wake you up? Oh, stretch. Oh, I'm Zoe. So that's what I normally do. And she normally runs away from me when I start giving her affection, which is standard. <laughs> Bye, Lucy. <laughs> yeah, that's probably how most of these videos are gonna start because that's just what I do. All right, let's get some, hello. <laughs> hello, look at her box that she's destroyed here. What do you have to say to this? I feel like I haven't vlogged in so long that this is so like, just not what I'm used to. Yeah, I'm wearing Trey Simpson shirt. What of it? It's my bed shirt at the moment. Alrighty, I've decided to change, so I'm in like day clothes, which I never do. Let's make some breakfast. My nannies are getting a bit old. I might have to freeze them today as well. Mm. Lucy's going back under. <laughs> What's going on under there? What's going on under there? Hello. All right, so this is my breakfast for the day. This is my favorite muesli and a banana in it. So this is the muesli that I use, table of plenty. Macadamia cranberry and coconut muesli. It's like really good for you. It's vegan. This is all the good stuff about it. And I love it. I've been eating it for years. And then my favorite rice milk is this one here. Australian's own organic rice milk. I really just, I think that one just tastes really freaking good with oats. So it works for muesli, works for oats. Works for me. Mmm. So I really want this video to be more of like a what I do in my day. And then if I do continue to do it for the rest of the week, we've got a lot of concerts, so I'll be more of like vlogging the concerts. We have two Knuckle Puck shows this week and then one of Jake's shows as well. And then this weekend happens to be our one year anniversary as well. It's like there's a lot of things happening in this week. That's why I thought if I'm going to do like a weekly daily vlog, this week should be a good week to do it to get me sort of like motivated into doing it. So today it's going to be a bit more of a boring one. Maybe not for you guys, but this is just what I do every day and just throw on a camera in front of me. So this is me being a housewife as I am. I eat breakfast. And I normally watch some like Geordie Shaw because I'm trash. Or SVU, which is not trash. Lucy's back. She smells the food. Lucy's really cool because she'll pretty much follow you wherever you go. And it just makes her feel loved when we're both home alone. So it's really nice. I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna watch some stuff, and then I'll let you know what I'm doing next. Okay, so we're done there. Breakfast and an episode of Geordie Shaw is done. Now it's time to start my actual day. Where are you going? Get that down with Doug. <laughs> so it's been really hot in Melbourne the last few days. So I've been laying out in the sun for like an hour every day just to get a bit of sun because I'm so bad at getting the sun. Like the last two summers I've said, oh, I'll get tan this year. And I just haven't because I hate lying in the sun. If you just get hot and sweaty and frustrated, like it's just gross. But I have done the last few days, have started to get a bit of color, just a, a little bit of color. 
and I've been enjoying it, but it's a little bit overcast here today. So I don't think I'm gonna lie out today. So instead, I'm gonna make Jake his lunches for his week because we were out all of yesterday for Forever Ends here, like farewell show. We didn't get to make lunches, so he's got no lunch for today. And I better fix that right now, so. I'm gonna make him like a stir fry because we had one last night at dinner and he loved it. So I don't know what we have in the fridge. The difficulty there is that we only have one car now. So Jake sold his car, we only have my car. He takes that to work now. So if I don't have ingredients, Jake doesn't get food. <laughs> Alrighty. Ta da! Here's our fridge stocked with big goodies. <gasps> we do have mushrooms. Okay, problem solved. Do we see outside? Look, he's come back. Look, he's come back. All right, so I'm gonna make this recipe for a minimalist beta 30 minute portobello mushroom stir fry. I've got most of the ingredients, but portobello mushrooms. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do normal mushrooms because we're out of portobello. Come along with me while I cook for me men's. <laughs> if we cook the show. Whenever a recipe says a certain amount of garlic, I always double it. <laughs> like it's a necessity to have as much garlic as you can in any recipe. So this is a pretty standard Monday for me. I normally take Mondays pretty easy because if we've done a lot of stuff on the weekend or whatever, um, it's kind of like my day of rest. Does that make sense? Just because I know that throughout the week I'll have to be editing like a few videos, recording a few videos, and just doing other life stuff. So I feel like Monday is more of like, I get back into the week, get prepped, get ready for the week sort of day. Like a Sunday normally would, but we're often just busy. So if any of you guys are wondering why this bitch is unemployed, it is because I moved to Melbourne from Sydney to move in with my partner. And I moved here for two months without a job. We were going back to Sydney in December. And so I just kept my old job, didn't work for two months while I lived here, lived off savings and then went back and worked for another month while Jake was in Sydney recording the album. So now we've come back, it's our second week being back now, I think. And obviously I just don't have a job yet. I don't know what I want to do for work because it's kind of hard because we don't know where we're going to end up. We don't know when Jake's going to be on tour. We don't know, like, this is a And obviously I need to live my life for myself and not for my partner. But wherever I can, I want to make sure that I'm doing job opportunities and just anything to do with my life that can kind of overlap into his life because he's my partner and why wouldn't I want to try and make sure that our lives gel together. <laughs> I don't know if all couples are like that. I'm pretty free going with what I'm doing with my life at the moment and what I want to do with my life in general. I just want to be happy. Right now, I'm happy being here with my boyfriend. I'll end up with a job at some point. I'm not too sure where or when or what I'm doing, but for right now, I'm just living off my savings, being a housewife and enjoying every minute of it. <laughs> so that is why I'm unemployed. If you have a problem with it, I don't care. I'm living off my own money when it runs out. I'll figure out my life then. I'm just being 21 years old. I think if I have no responsibility when I really do. <laughs> right, so I've made my marinade. It's got a lot of stuff in it, like ginger, garlic, lime juice, sesame oil, and tamari, and coconut sugar, and chili flakes. I think that's all that was in it. And I'm gonna put the mushrooms in it and let them soak. Alrighty. Let's get on to the vegetables. Alrighty, so my veggies are ready. I was gonna do cauliflower, but it looks fuzzy and I don't know what that means and I couldn't figure it out on Google, so I've just gone with some zucchini, capsicum, some onion, it's not in the recipe, but Jake loves onion. And I'm gonna go with that with the mushrooms. And hopefully that turns out well with a bit of rice. Crisis averted, I'm gonna put some mixed veggies, frozen veggies in it as well. This is like peas, broccoli, carrot, and my rice is looking pretty good too. We're on the way. Frick, they smell so freaking good. Alrighty guys, so here is my end result. That is Jake's lunches for the whole entire week. And I will just put them into these little containers here and that will be his meal. I had a taste of it and it's really freaking good so I'm glad for well, my first time making this particular recipe, that it turned out good. Thank God, because it would be bad if it didn't. <laughs> now it's time to load the dishwasher, and then I'm gonna clean our bedroom. I told you this was an exciting vlog, guys, you know? Riveting. Kitchen cleaned. Now it is time to clean our room. Let's 
do it. Our room is pretty clean with a vacuum, got the diffuser on. I don't know where that disc is meant to go, but yeah. We try and make the bed every day, but I haven't been able to vacuum since we've been home, so it's nice to get the floors done. But yes, clean room. Now, this comes to the time of the day where it is 2.30, and I'm, I'm running pretty well on time, to be honest. I'm going pretty well. This is my time that I sit and I have some tea, and I'll normally watch some more TV now because what else am I going to do? I feel like I've got a lot more spare time today because I'm not going to be laying in the sun for that hour. So I'm going to do my tea, eat some lunch, and start to edit this video so then when Jay comes home it's all up to scratch. So if anything happens in between then I'll let you know, but otherwise I'll see you when Jake comes home. I almost forgot to show you guys what I'm eating for lunch today. Today I have a vegan green curry which has some tempeh in it, which I can't get into. I just, I've tried so many times and I just can't get into tempeh. So I probably won't be eating that part of it, but we got it from a um, little vegan Vietnamese place on Brunswick Street in Fitzroy last night. This was our dinner. This is my leftovers from dinner and it's freaking good. It's so good. So I'm going to devour this right now. Soccer time. Whee! Get it, Liz. Oh, now you got two to choose from. Get it, Liz. Hey. Whee! Oh, it ran away from you. <laughs> Look who's home! Yay! Woo! I don't really have anything to update. Dinner is soon, which is exciting. Today is a very exciting day, guys, just because. So, Domino's, which is like a big chain of pizza restaurants in Australia. Oh, it's all over the world, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, no, it is. Anyway, in Australia at least, <laughs> in Australia at least, today is their launching day for vegan cheese and a vegan pizza. They have like this avocado mushroom pizza, which is like Jake's dream. That is like the best thing to ever happen to Jake. I <laughs> light up my life. We're going to have that for dinner. We're going to try it and we're going to show you guys what it's like. And it's very exciting. So dinner time will be very soon. Alrighty. They are here. So this is the margarita. This is the avocado mushroom olives. This is super veg trio, spice trio. Wow. And their garlic bread's always been vegan, but it's really freaking good garlic bread. So this is all of them. And I'm freaking excited. Look at this. It's so pretty. So colourful. The official taste test. Avocado, mushroom, capsicum, the lot. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> Margarita. Margarita, good. Yay! Mine, not so much, but. Really? You pr I, the margarita looks like the best out of all of them, I reckon. And it's the plainest one. That's the spicy veg. Hot, babe? <laughs> Look at Lisa. Alrighty, guys. So I'm going to wrap up the vlog right here. The Domino's pizzas were good, but not my favorite vegan pizzas ever. I have to say the margarita was definitely my favorite out of the three. Um, and I will want to go back and try like more if they do want to expand the collection. Margarita definitely shone through because it just felt a bit more creamier and less dry than the other two. So what I'm saying is basically I've had better vegan pizzas, more gourmet ones are obviously going to be better, but for Domino's standards, 
They were really freaking good. I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday life video. If you did, please give me a good thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. We put out videos every Thursday here on the short but crazy one, but you know what? You might even see me tomorrow. If you want to see me tomorrow, leave a comment and I will do another vlog. Alrighty guys, I love you all so much. I'll see you this week or maybe even tomorrow. Bye.